Hey, 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 welcome to the Attic Manadad here. It's day one of Dominaria United. We've opened one of the defilers, which is cool. And um, this is my third draft of the format. I'm here with my brother. Actually, I should probably mute you, bro. Sorry, because we can hear your, uh, awesome. uh, your games playing. Um, my brother is playing on Twitch and may come in and comment at some point. But uh, I'll get out of his... Uh... Okay. Now we can only hear his commentary, not his game. Anyways, Defiler of the Flesh. Really good. Kind of a mono black build around if you can really get there. Um, I'm hoping to do the blue something. Maybe we'll do blue black if we can. The Talarian guys are here. The Jeskai colors seem to be the stronger. Oh, we've got to open a Balmor. All right, this is what I promised I was going to do. Just go hard on the uh, the blue red spells deck if I can. Nice. And Balmor is definitely a good start to that. We could be blue, red, black. We won't give up on Defiler just yet. Okay, like, let's see, we got a cast down. But we've also got Electrostatic Infantry and Lightning Strike. Holy moly. Oh, jeez. This Kelden Strike team's great, too. I think I'm going to take the Lightning Strike. Tough. It's tough. Um, red enlist creature is good. We could protect white in the Griffin Protector. Speaking of protecting. Or we could protect Splashing Black with the Geothermal Bog. I like that probably the best. Um, Spinalish Sleeper is a good solid aggro card. But yeah, this Griffin Protector overperforms in the right deck. For sure. Just watched somebody stomp my brother with it. Just get a bunch of those Kelden strike teams with it. And timely reinforcements and go to town. If I love flesh. 4-4 four, four Menace. When you cast a black permanent spell, creature you control gets plus 1, plus 1 in Menace till end of turn. So, not really a splash card. Just have to see. Well, now we get Electrostatic Infantry and a, there's a Hurloom Battle Him. All right. I like this pod so far for just uh, forcing forcing blue-red spells. This is just so good because every time you cast an instant or sorcery, it's going to get a plus one, plus one counter. Um, there's Essence Scatter. Oh, we got the Kelden Strike Team. Hmm. You do want to be aggro and not necessarily sitting on your mana with Essence Scatter. I guess this protects red white here, so we'll we'll take the strike team. We're not firmly in blue, but boy, I love this Balmor uh, Battle Mage Captain. This is a good card. 1-3 Flying. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, creatures you control get plus 1 plus 0 and gain trample until end of turn. Uh, if you want to see my uh, studies, I did a video with my brother where we broke down all the different archetypes for this brand new set. You can go watch that. Find out what our picks are for top commons and what all the combat tricks are, etc. So here's a, just a nice cheap flyer in this deck. Black is really open in this pack. But, um... The filer is getting less and less... Poss or, um, likely. Because I really want to go aggro here. I want to test out the aggro strategies. I got, uh, hopefully at least one other video up where I do, like, a five-color... My first two drafts, I, w I did the five color thing, the domain thing. First draft, I got a Joda, pick one, pack one, and went full in on uh, Rainbow Legends. So check that video out if you haven't already. After you watch this one, of course, because you, you came to watch some aggro, enforcing aggro. Get 
people passing the cards or not passing the cards? Who's holding up all the cards? Granny. It's Peptic. Chocolate Hiccup. AT&T. Horizon. Shadow Legion. Enrique Tiki Tavi. Oh, okay. Soaring Drake or the Talus Lookout. I think we'll take the Lookout. Wouldn't mind that beachfront either. Help us splash some things. Uh, Twinferno is pretty good, I think, in this deck. Also, Impulse. Hmm. This is the uncommon. I think we're, we need to get more blue. Sorry, Defiler. We'll see. We might switch back into black, depending on what what comes around next pack. Let's see what wield here. I don't remember clocking a lot of cards in that. Kind of just went hard on that Defiler. So, okay, we wield Essence Scatter and Timely Interference. I think this is... We're a Timely Interference deck for sure. And the fact that we wield Essence Scatter means we might get it again. So, Thrill of Possibility. We are a Thrill of the Possibility deck. Ever. Two Keldon Strike Teams is hard to resist. Pretty good start. Look at this low curve. We do want to pick up some duels that do white. Um, or we can just pick up another duel that does black. Keep protecting that black. So, yes, if you haven't watched our review, the set, hmm, the Tide Turner or the Smash to Dust? I think the Smash to Dust might actually be Good here. A dark car wastes. Well, there's our white duel. <clears throat> We've also got dragon whelp. Hmm. There's a red white duel. There's shore up, which is very good. I think I'm going to take the blue white duel because we know we got the Kelvin Strike teams. Plus, I'm going to need these for uh, constructed decks. I was just saying that this set has these tap duels that have the basic land types. And as you can see, there are a lot of them. It's not one per pack. It seems to be, they just have like a a common rarity, each of them. So you do end up seeing a lot. It ends up averaging one per pack, but it's not an official one per pack. But every pack is supposed to have a legendary. Balmore was a pick one pack two. We'll be looking for some go wide. There's actually a go wide thing that um, has a black kicker, so we may. Oh, Leaf Crown Visionary. I do want to get this for my elf deck. Oh, but we have a Telerian Geyser. Uh, pack two, pick two. Can I afford to burn it? I think so. I want to make good content for you guys. And uh, elf decks are good content. Got to play some explorer elf ball with these guys. Once I get four of them, go to town with the uh, the collected companies. But we're here to draft right now. You're draft fans. You don't like to see me do the rare drafting, I'm sure. Uh, Flowstone Kavu. Molten Monstrosity plays... I guess really we want the blue one that's like counts the spells in your graveyard. I think this is just a solid card, solid 3-drop in this thing. The Goblin Picker. Goblin Nose Picker. Yo, Maybe we should me? take the cut down. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Are you watching? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's streaming. I'll stream if you want to watch. Well, are you dropping some? 
in the middle of draft here. I wonder if I should take the cut down just to protect black. If I burn too many picks here, I'm going to regret it. So I got Defiler of the Flesh, pick one, pack one. So I'm not quite giving up on black. That's why I took the cut down. Yeah. Kind of drafting the hard way here, except I'm also kind of trying to force blue-red. <laughs> oh, there's Ronin's Vortex. Okay, there's a good reason. So, okay, this is the like worst rare for limited here because it's all Planeswalker-based. So you would have to have already gotten a Planeswalker and probably a Johnny because that's like your Planeswalker that has white in it in the set <laughs> yeah. for this to ever want to draft this card. Um, I don't know. Maybe it ends up being constructed playable when you draft it for... Uh, that reason. Well, Flowstone Infusion is good too. I'm going to take the Rona's Vortex. This is tempo, right? You can just use it to bounce, or if you got black. And uh, Haunting Figment. Oh, the Gitu Amplifier, though. This is that's that's the real premium. Maybe we'll wheel one of those two blue guys. Uh, Gitu Amplifier. This is early on in the format. I should be reading all these cards to everyone, especially while we wait for our opponents to read all the cards. This is a uh, two mana one two. You can kick it, so for five mana, uh, you get to bounce an opponent's creature. So you get a little tempo thing if you draw it off the top. And uh, oh, where would you two amplifier? And if not, anyways, it's a one two that pumps plus two plus zero when you cast an instant or sorcery. I think now is when we take the essence scatter. Just have in hand if we don't get our two drop. Ideally, we're like Pixie Illusionist turn one, Balmore turn two, play a bunch of spells, or, you know, Pixie Illusionist Amplifier, or Pixie Illusionist uh, Infantry. We've got Negate, or we just get another Pixie Illusionist, or we've got Founding the Third Path, which lets us recast. Good, though. Well, you, it's like... Yeah. An extra cast on instant of sorcery. We got. We've already it's got a lightning kind of strike. Blue, it's like kind of giving that blue white deck where you can recast like the, the creature dudes. Maybe get a new spell stack. I don't know. I think the illusionist, and I think another talus lookout. I'm a little wary of this card. It's almost too slow. Right? What did I just do? What just happened? Did it just not give me that pick? No, yeah, there it is. Okay, okay yeah. it's two. It said one for a second. I swear. Ooh, okay, we did wheel both the Haunting Figment and the Shore up. <sighs> Do I need two-drop creatures? I really like the Shore up. I think I've got enough two-drop creatures where I can take this Shore up. And we'll definitely take the geyser. This is three mana sorcery. So kind of eh. Bounce a creature, but draw bounce a creature, draw a card, and if you can get the white in it, which we should be able to with the dark our wastes, and kick it. Um I guess Tide Turner, in case we do feel like we need one more two drop. It can help us cast more spells and kick spells. We'll take the Twin Inferno now. And Timely Interference came all the way back. Oh. This is really the only deck that wants that Timely Interference. It's such a, like, nope. nothing effect. Ooh, I love the Ivy. We, ha we don't have, like, any green. Splashable format. It is a splashable format. We could... We could get the green with the Pixie Illusionist. And it, it lets our spells copy. Let's 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 grab it and think about it. I don't think we're gonna wheel okay. some of the other stuff in here. Nothing is that like super important. Um there's Carpluce and Forest, which is another way to uh do the splashes. I think we can take that. Micromancer. We've got Rona's Vortex at one and Shore Up at one and Timely Interference at one, so that's definitely a possibility. 
But yeah, we'll take we'll take some rare lands. These are a good lands, especially for an aggro deck. Hey, second pick, that's high though. Call your way in pick. No, uh, hitting our hitting our stuff on curve is pretty good. Keldon Flame Sage. I think we just want this, right? Yeah, for sure. I think that's your deck. Two, right? three, enlist. Look at the top X cards of your library where X is its power, and you can exile instant or sorcery and cast it. Yeah. This is a blue red spells card for sure. The phasing of Jalfir. Don't think that really fits our deck. On the other hand, what else is there? There's the Gitu Amplifier. Well, what is it? That do? answers the question. It is a blue board wipe of sorts. Wow, and an Urtai resurrected. That's very splash worthy. Let's definitely take that and consider it. So this is a uh, this is another rare. There's getting past a lot of rares in this pod. It's a three two flash. When it enters the battlefield, you can counter a spell, activated ability, or triggered ability, or you can destroy a creature, a planeswalker, and uh, the controllers of those things that you do that to get to draw a card. So it's not quite a two for one, but on the other hand, if you're waiting to hit something that is strong, so here's the uh, kind of a Payoff, white, white. Here, I don't know what we take instead. The, Destroy evil the, or another the, talus look at? The, what's the uh, artifact that fixes it fix for you? Uh, I don't think that's a spells deck uh, card, but yeah, artifact that fixes is good. Mm, Here's a negate. Good. Or we could take stall for time if we really think we can get there with the white. I think negate is more likely to make our deck, although look, we're at 20, we're really at 21 cards, because we don't need to count the Edeker Waste in the Carpusum Forest. We still have two black-based duels. I think maybe will be worth putting in for Ertai and for Rona's Vortex. Okay, here's that Balduvian Berserker, that's pretty good. That's a solid two-drop pickup here late in pack three. Three this drop. is a 1-3 enlist, and when it dies, it deals damage, so that can be a good way to just get that last it's, bit of damage through. It's a 3-drop, though. It's not a 2-drop. Oh, it is a 3-drop? Yeah, yeah that's it why it's not drop. as good as you think it, it might be, because it's, it's a 3-drop. Still a good way to get some last Yeah, you have to pump it. Like, damage you, through. Yeah, we do need some pump like, spells. It's like no good. If you're like not pumping it, it's like... Take another Pixie Illusionist. These are going to help us kick all this other, these kicker spells. Medallion Desecrator. You can sacrifice to cast an instant sorcery from the graveyard. Well, consider it. I think it's just getting fancy. I think we're just flyers, and we would love to get some spells that actually pump our team. We didn't really see that. We're really relying on getting Balmor. Or getting a, you know, an infantry that they can't deal with. I guess we have one negate and one door up to protect our good creatures. Auspice Strider, potentially. Kind of high for our curve. Really, on five, we want to be kicking the amplifier or the strike team. We have another pixie illusionist. I don't know if we're going to run four of those. Uh, Mind if you're playing three colors, dude. We're only we're only just splashing some kickers. I mean, it's they're good with if we get Balmore, they're really good, right? Because then they're each getting plus one plus zero. Every time we cast a spell. Yeah. We're looking at one cut. We might just cut a land here. 13 creatures, 10 instants, 1 sorcery. <laughs> Love it. 
15 blue, 10 red. We need to splash green for anything though. None of these kickers are green. I guess Pixie Illusionist has a green kicker. So I guess that's a good enough reason. White kicker. And then would we do switch out one blue for a blue black? Maybe we try to get Urtai in here. Uh, I feel like with the Pixie no. Illusionist. No. I think your like hardcore white spells matter. You don't you don't even need like you should just like if you could narrow down and like go to like fifteen lands and get like tighter. Because you're like you're like low curve right now. Like you should just get rid of resurrected and just see if you can just like slam in and get rid of land You don't think your airtie is Yeah, no. Just like get rid of that and a land or two. That's such a good tempo in. play. Just go down to fifteen or sixteen lands, dude. And so I made another card. You just go spells. Blue red spells matter. It's not that good. It's removal attached to a body, but your opponent draws a card. So like, it's good if you can keep it coming back. But like, the single play, it's okay. It's good, but you're splashing, splashing for it. It's like not like. Yeah, but when it's not really splashing, splashing. We got three pixie illusionists. No, it's not splashing, splashing, but like, it's not gonna win you the game. Like you're like you're going out of your way to. Well, it's like another card. copy of like a negate or something where they do, or they make a big creature play that has reach or something. Right, or like you're like down. another negate would just be like the same thing. Like, but your deck would be tighter if you could just like go down a couple tar cards. All right. And a couple lands, basically. And just you're, the, like, you're the mythic here. Like, put put a put a, like another creature on the board or something like. Put another shrimp on the bobby. You could put Ivy in. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean. So we're already running this duel. Let's try Ivy. What the hey? All right. So uh, if you're still watching this uh, and you're ready to see some matches, um, Hit that like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps out the channel. And of course, this is a small channel, so there's no guarantee you'll ever find cool drafts like this with me and Broby again. So hitting all those buttons really helps. Mash into buttons. All right. We got Pixie Illusionist on one. But we don't have Ivy on two. We can get a Kelvin Strike team on three if we really want. Actually, we do have Ivy on two because of the Pixie. And they immediately kill it. We should have gotten to cop. Oh no, you don't get to copy unless it doesn't target Ivy. Okay, got the black red aggro. Got black red aggro here. Guess I'll just get down the run up the strike team. Doesn't really block the uh, two ones. Well, it has haste, even whether... Were you ended up playing white? Maybe I should have waited. You ended up playing white? Uh, just splashing. Kind of annoying. I don't want to block their 2 1 that they make here. They don't necessarily want to kill this, though. It just gets us another card. Toxic Abomination. Yeah, lose some, lose some life for me. No blocks. 
I'll take three on the ground if you take four in the air. What do we get? We got a timely interference. I think we're just on the keep playing the Talus Lookouts plan. One more mana and we can play a kicked Pixie Illusionist. Squee, Dubious Monarch. They, they really love to turn stuff to the side. Man, if we get a pump spell, do we just take this? That's a lot of damage. If we do that, we take four, five, eight. We go to four, but then, if, then we win with a pump spell. I don't know, man. We don't really have pump spells, though. We have, like, one double strike, right? They could very well have removal. Amplifier. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I think... They get a pump spell. Oh, that's fine. Now I'm glad we didn't. Uh... We just take the land, then we can kick the Pixie Illusionist. You know, we probably just play the B2 Amplifier and hold up timely enforcement from the shore up. Oh, Balmor! Can we get there? That's five, six, seven. Uh, no, I think we can get there, right? Well, it's better be sure. That's two plus zero, right? So that's five and that's three. And this gives plus one, plus one anyway. And they're tapped out. Aggro! Yeah, you get minus one. Boom! Blue-red spells. Let's force it. Opponent had a good deck. That's a good black red deck. I think that might have come down to who went first and also our top deck there. But I'll take it. Up against Swiggity Swiggity. Oof. No bluegity. We can get the amplifier down though. And just hope to draw blue. Opponent's going first. That gives us an extra draw to get to the blue. Oh, we got a Balmore too. Okay. Okay, they're doing the domain thing. We might have a chance. Raid's Frightful Return. They can force us to discard a card. Uh, decline. Okay. That weren't so bad. What is bad is we don't have... Any blue. We can get blue, we can get Pixie Illusionist, and then we can get anything we need. The Vine Shaper Prodigy, gonna draw a card. Nothing worth lightning striking yet. Uh, 
right. Blue is clearly our key color here. Uh, well, is that I not supposed to keep this hand? I feel like my chances of drawing blue are pretty good. Blocks. All right, cast a five drop that dies to lightning strike. What? Or five drop that's just like an eight eight. This is where I needed essence scatter. That's where I needed my blue. All right. I don't think we're going to win this game. We can't draw blue. Let's just go to the next one. It's night one. It's time to just move on. Up against Ulf. I love Ulf. That's a great show. Alien puppet. I think we'll shock in a pixie illusionist. And then, I don't know, they're in black, black red. All removal all the time. Toxic A bomb, okay. They're super toxic. Don't you know that you're toxic? I think we're gonna get this guy down. Get down all our uh, spell payoffs before. Would like to draw another mana here so we can geyser it up. Make them recast that guy. That would be ideal for us. We'll take three this turn. Oh, we'll take five. That kind of seems like a waste of that spell. Pretty aggro. We probably want to gain life off the geyser, so let's wait till we have one more mana. Let's just get down the flame sage. Get in for two. If we have to, we'll jump against the abomination. They seem to kind of be all in on this abomination. In the Vivi sector. Well, I'll no blocks there. They're pretty good enlist. I'm gonna cut it down. Don't cut me down. Harsh tempo. Oh, bone splinters. Okay. Well, that's fine. You want a two for one on it. Boom. Okay. And we'll turn that to white. And then cast this kicked back to your hand with ye. We gain three life. Draw a card, hit you for three. You can take two more damage yourself. Okay, well, they did get to double spell there. Um, hmm. I guess we'd want to wait and put down the battle mage next turn. Or do we battle mage this turn hold up essence scatter? Probably where it's at. Fly here for one. They don't play anything. Next turn. Kill their 3-2, pump our whole team. Or maybe just bounce something. Double pump the whole team. 
Kelvin Strike Team. Oh, perfect. They decided they couldn't wait to kick it. But I'll take it out here anyway. No blocks. Now I can, like, bounce you. Everything pumps. Give this guy double strike. Yeah. And that is a victory. Up against Chief. Kansas City Chief. Got a, a one, a two, and a three. Okay, we got a one, one haster. Oh, don't you be freezing up on me. I know I'm hitting my machine hard by streaming every which way here. Yavi Maya Steel Crusher. They got a one and a two. They got a one and a two. Don't necessarily love having our one three here open to removal, but it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay, they got a one, two, and a three. They went first. They can get in with the Kavu. They can pump it twice, actually. So they can hit us for four. In fact, I prefer they only attack with the Kavu. If they don't only attack with the Kavu, we know they've got a trick. Oh, we're just going to enlist this guy. Okay. That works, too. No blocks. You're good at magic. Uh, huh. Target creature gets minus one for a zero. That has to block. They're saving a pump or removal, though. They're, they're going to get us. Oh, nice. Now if they do have the plus three plus zero thing, it won't kill the sage. Oh, they have a pump though. Okay. Okay. But we have trample. <laughs> and we're gonna be able to impulse next turn and pump our whole team. Provided Balmore stays uh stays in play. They only have one card in hand. What is it? What is their card? What's impulse for spells? Okay. <laughs> they did the math. They did the monster math. Balmor is so good. This is kind of a Low hand here.
Well, we'll hold up Essence Scatter. Keep them from getting too far ahead on us. Ooh, the Flame Sage. I think we'll start with the Berserker, though. We're going to draw a removal. Shadow Prophecy. Okay. Some way to pump up the Berserker. I guess we'll just play a Flame Sage hold up shore up here. Captain's Call. Yeah, not much I can do about that. Bone Splinters. Uh, how about nope? Okay. We attack with the Flame Sage, they can double block. We can timely interference, so... Yeah, as long as they double block, I guess. Enlist. Ah, Twin Inferno. Yeah, don't mind if I do. I guess they're going to block with the 1-1, one, one, right? Should we force them to block? Nah. Bit of a waste of the double strike. Oh, they didn't block. Okay, so they have some kind of pump spell. Their whole team, Sengar Connoisseur. Essence scatter ya! You go scattered! Okay. Black white with the bone splinters is a good good combo. Another flame sage. Flame sage, we barely knew ya. Ivy. And then if we pass this with Kicker, yeah, we'll copy that. Oh no, Ivy is now. Oh, we drew two cards. Then we get a land drop. And you have to jump with your 1 1. That scry is pretty nice with all these cards of the creatures they created. Uh, 
Finally, interference is a nice combo with Ivy. Oh, okay. The biggest bomby bomb bomb. All right, well, good game. I mean, we can bounce it back to their hand. And they can recast it and kill another one of our creatures. I guess we don't want to do that. Maybe we'll just cast a kicked pixie illusionist. That'll let our berserker at least attack at some point. Ooh, what a rough thing to go up against. We're going to bring back their finger. Okay. Somehow not as scared of that. Uh, snow blocks. Oh, I erase this stupid thing. It can bounce the vivisector back to their hand. I think maybe we want to save to bounce the Sengar back. Let's cast another kicked pixie illusionist here. Sacrifice a non-land, non-token permanent. Um, Pixie, you outlived your usefulness. Citizens arrest. Okay, so they're gonna arrest one of our three threes. Here's the chance of blocking. They don't cast the singer. It's kind of annoying. Let's just draw a card. A mountain. Ugh. Ooh, Kelvin Strike Team. I think we're willing to take a damage for this. as a creature. Right? At 11. They swing us for 5, 3 of a lifelink. Keep drawing lands. It's hard to get any tempo here. What's a list here?
just can't win a race against a life-linking flyer like this without, without having the removal in hand. We really don't. I'm about to put another 3-3 three, three flyer down. Or not. Okay. I'm most worried about that guy. Oh no. Double spelling. Really rough. Okay, now I get the uh, removal. Okay, that makes their singer... Oh man, it's like damned if I do, damned if I don't. I have to use it to kill the singer, and I have to tap the pixie illusionist to do it. Because that's going to die, that's going to get plus one, plus one. I do the three three. The two for four. You come back, hit me for three. I got a one. You go to eleven. That's hoping you only have lands in your hand. Nope, you have a rare. And, uh, Mythic Uncommon. Okay, well, we can kick this, but we would have to tap this again. Let me just die. Anyway, we don't die. That has menace. So maybe we bounce that game life. Okay, okay. We can force them to trade with the Red Adrabic. Can't get it low enough. No, but that has Ward. Okay, we can't force it to trade with the Red Adrabic. We can hit him for five. If I win this, it'll be the comeback of the century. Against an Archangel of Wrath, like, this is the bombiest rare of the set, for sure. Okay, chomp. Alright, is there any way I can do 9 damage, 11 damage, with 2 lands? Nope. Ugh! Hard-fought loss. Did you see any of that? Up against Rikapun. Rikapun, Rikapun, Rikapun. And we always seem to be able to get the Adder Car Waste, I tell ya. Kind of in favor of just putting the mountain down first so it doesn't let him know that we have timely interference. Oh, well, now we get Pixie Illusionist. I'm not gonna play anything. Fine. Great. Finally got a win. What what kind of deck do you have right now? You wanna play against it? No, I'm gonna finish out this draft and go to bed.
Nah, it's just about to happen in the bed, too. What's up, Blackbird? What? around all our... He saw, uh... he saw it, dude. It's a zone, too. It's like a different one. I was playing around in our counter spells. Micromensa. Yes, I will take a damage for that. Perfect. You're now a forest. We cast you. And All right, bro. Good luck with your deck, dude. Thanks. I'm out. Bad time. We'll find out. I might Talus fall asleep for a little bit and wake up and decide I want to play magic in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I can force that thing to block. Later. Later. I don't have enough. If they if they have the hexproof thing, I don't have enough to negate this. How do I undo? Too late. All right, in for a penny, in for a pound. It's gonna be a real blowout. Discard. They had any gate. Cast this kicked. Right. Ward two. Oh uh, yeah, sure.
Nice. Ooh. Okay, that would be good. damage to any target once they cast a red spell. Block. Let's hope they don't have the essence, whatever. They block the 3 1, they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but we can pump up. They're not necessarily done in the crackback either, so. Maybe I should have done the amplifier. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Whew. Managed to tempo them out. Ranking up. Four and two. Any game could be our last, but uh, we do have a winning record regardless. It's late enough here that I wouldn't mind losing. <laughs> I'm not gonna not gonna throw anything. I wouldn't also I would also not mind uh, getting a seven win deck, so well, let's see how the force blue red plan goes. Opponent is going first. Don't like to see. They're taking their time thinking about it. Perhaps doing what their name suggests. won't say it. It's a bit of a curse in the UK. I don't think it's really much of a US curse. A double blue for the Talus Lookout. That's pretty good. Two, a three, and a four. The lightning strike right off the bat before it gets out of range. One is smart. I am down on this berserker. Maybe we just play the amplifier here. Or do we wait and try to kick it? Uh, if, they want, if they want to kill the berserker, they can. Same with the talus lookout. We get a benefit if it dies. I think he's a pirate. He might put that in my pirate deck, my Admiral Beckett Brass deck. We always need pirates that uh, have evasion. And yes, a 3-2 flying for four in Commander is uh, pretty below rate. But never said it was a good Commander deck. It's a fun deck. I'll assert that. The VV Sector. Oh, okay. Well, we can just chain lookouts. That seems fine. Don't 
don't have a way to kick this yet. Love to wait to get a black source. Because they're in green, so they're going to have some big... Big chonky creatures, probably. <laughs> hmm. No blocks? Ooh, essence scatter. We'll just get the Amplomancer down. Opponent. Can I zap something? They had some instant speed thing. Tear asunder. Well, because it exiles, so I won't get the benefit, I will protect my creature. Oh, uh, would you like to attack? Opponent? <laughs> Didn't think so. Uh -huh. Let's attack and enlist this one. Half you. Double block, they're going to lose their board. They can drop another lookout. Not doing too well on the uh, off-color splashing right now. Do your scries. Scry me your worst. I think we can play this, because if they play a big creature, we can vortex it back and then essence scatter it. Nope, they just have kill spells for days. That's okay. Okay, six mana. I hear a sound effect. Jaya Fiery Negotiator. 1-1 one, one Red Monk with Prowess. Okay. It doesn't like have flying or anything. Uh-oh. Has Jaya crashed the program? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, Jaya's at 5? I guess I bounced the monk and then eliminate Jaya. Kinda rough. Yeah, planeswalkers are good. Jaya dies in this story, all right, so like, you know, she shouldn't be this powerful. If she cast him, she should immediately sacrifice him. Except when I'm playing her. The new, new alchemy. It's just all the cards are more powerful when I play them. I would, I would definitely go for that. I have to wait till our turn. Of course we... Goodness. Machine's slowing way down. I don't like that they're pausing here. 
I can't tell if it's because opponent has some instant speed effect or what. It might have just been correct to hit them for six. I don't know. All right, I'm done. I'm hoping they just have a big creature we can essence scatter and then we're home free. Nope, they just have infinite removal. Okay, find me something good, lookout. Geyser. Not really what I was looking for. Furboard repossession. Oh, they can get back Jaya. That's gross. That's just gross. No, I can't cast it kicked. Well, it's going to help me cast other stuff kicked, I guess. Hit you for one. Uh, yeah, I may as well counter that. You know they're playing Jaya here. You know what's happened to all my enemies? They're toast. Makes a monk. Get out there and blaze a path. I fly Jaya for one. I don't need to cast Ivy, right? I'll make another monk. Plus to make a monk. Let's get Ivy down. Learn to throw a punch, kid. Use this to draw an extra card, maybe. No Knowing that's a sorcery, so he can't like attack and. Too precocious. Just lands, lands, lands. Oh, the experience will do you good. Okay, well, they have a spell in hand. That much we know. Golden Flame Sage is interesting. 
I think I just want to... Uh... Kick a pixie. Sounded bad. Can do that and cast the flame sage, yeah. Do we try to get out there? Um their spell here? Maybe we do. This guy's dead next turn anyway. They decide to do the minus. Better there than at my face. I always say. Garna. Taught them everything they know. Alright, now we just have to kind of try to fly ignore Jaya, I guess. And now we get a negate. Ah. Uh. We could also Kelvin Flame Sage here and hope to get something great. Oh no. No manners. What a shame. All right, looks like the infinite kill spell deck is going to give us a target for negate. And they're just reading the color. Flame Sage. Okay, at this point, if I get... Okay. Oh, they were willing to lose Jaya. I think I'm gonna blast my illusionist out of the sky. That's a rough one. I hope they don't have two spells here. I get to draw a card off of that though. Maybe I shouldn't have blocked. Yeah, I guess Ivy can be indestructible. Death touch. Oh, a sentry. You're killing me, Larry. Okay, okay. Take action. Let's draw some cards. Oh, but now it doesn't have two power. Did that in the wrong order. Lightning Strike could work, or another Timely Interference could work. We just take out that Garna now while we can. Huh. 
Can we just draw more cards? Alright, we'll take out Garna. No, I will not copy that spell. Thank you very much. Got three cards in hand though, man. This is this is getting rough. They're splashing something. This could be unlocking it. Oh, just another swamp. I'll do the berserker. We get oof. Just to go all in on this flame sage. Kind of our defensive. Uh... Whiff. Great. I put Balmore to the bottom. Uh, well, I guess I'll kill those guys first. I don't want this guy to kill our other guys. Not looking good here. They stabilized. And they get to eat their lands to draw cards. And maybe we run them out of cards. They're at 14. Can we survive long enough? Okay. Death touch. The blocks. Yeah, just hit me for one each turn. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. At eight. Back off your lands. Doesn't get death touch if it enlists, right? So may as well have attacked with the death toucher. Should I think take the damage, not lose a blocker? I guess so. Kicking a pixie. Doesn't sound nice. Need a land draw card. Thirteen cards. Cool. Twelve life. Doesn't look good. What have we got on our deck? Actually, do we know what's coming up? We've got some timely interferences coming up. Three, three. We're going to no block that. I don't know if we get to our timely interferences. Boy, it really matters what this card is here. Yeah, yeah, get a card out of your deck. Okay. Rise to the top, not great. Root Walla, not great. Keldon Strike Team. Do I save that though? If they do an all out attack, can I survive? 
long enough. They probably just attack with the Berserker next turn. A chance they add to their board even more. Well. Okay, there's one more card we don't know. Maybe it's the double strike? Have we seen the double strike yet? I kind of have to chump with the Pixie Illusionists here. They're down to four blockers. Maybe by some miracle we can... Uh... Huh. First they had Defiler of the Flesh. Five blockers. There it is, the Twin Inferno. Oh, but I kind of wanted that Pixie to uh... Oh well. Maybe I just don't even make the one ones. block all these guys though. I guess they can't block Lethal Bell Thief. If we had like one more pump spell that we could double up here. What would I give double strike? Amplifier, I guess. That's a good game. Okay, well, thank you for joining me here in the attic. I've been Manadad with a winning record, forcing blue-red spells. Thanks for uh, watching. Remember, magic is a game so fun, even dads can enjoy it. And let's see the prize. Watch some other videos. There's probably some other draft videos you can watch. You, you watch this much, watch some more draft. There's some other cool builds to watch tonight. All right.